Hello everyone and welcome to the Impact Play. I'm your host and team leader, Muhammad otherwise known as It's You Go. And we are your one-stop news shop for the latest and greatest across gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, music, and now esports. And we will also amplify voices from the respective fields. And having this result, here on the Impact Play. The sport keeps the lights running and keeps the content coming. You can support us over at the England FM slash the Bank Play. Where tier your two supporters and above have access to exclusive content, including the post show, getting the show ad free, and so much more. Learn more about my support today at, and learn more in our Discord, I should say. Or you can even support us by using our Epic credit code to Impact Play. We are Epic Partners with every just you make with an Epic Store, whether it be Rocket League, Fortnite, Fall Guys, and more. No matter where you play or how you play, even if it's a free to play title, we can use our Epic Credit Code. We do get a commission and a little bit of a kickback. Help support us in a brand new way and no extra cost to you. And this episode of the Impact Play is also sponsored by Audible. However, me and the team will tell you about that later. And this is the Impact Play's review cast, episode 262, where we are reviewing Encanto. So stay tuned and enjoy. Alrighty, folks, so I guess let's get into this review, but please keep in mind that there will be some spoilers, so just a heads up. But before we do that, you can sign up for your free 30 day trial and immediately get access to one credit. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get access to two credits. And it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audibletrial.com slash play. Once again, the URL is audibletrial.com slash play. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this episode of the Impact Play. So, I guess let's get into this, folks, without further delay. Uh, so, please keep in mind this will have. Uh, some spoilers, just a heads up. But nonetheless, I guess let's get into this, folks. Uh, but before we do this review, our recast are normally uh, tier two, uh, supported and above. They get uh, f uh, first dibs. But since we're uh, nearing the end of the year, as well as the holidays, uh, we decided to uh, release this to everyone, not just our tier two supporters uh, first, but to everybody uh, worldwide on YouTube and your favorite podcast platform. But nonetheless, let's get into this focus without further ado. So Arcanto was released a while ago, uh, over a year ago, which I did not know. Uh, so I just recently watched it on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I would... My only tidbit about this show, or should I say this film, is the n number of uh, sing-alongs. Or musical plays, or what have you, with uh, following every introduction, every time we're introduced with a character, or getting a backstory of a, of a character, has to follow up with a unfortunate uh, music performance. I'm like, why there are so many in this? Like, why? I'm like, I understand by. Uh, uh, the the meaning of this of the story that it's trying to portray, but why so many performances? There was at least five, at least. Like, come on, like I, I, about without if it wasn't for this, I would definitely highly recommend this film. But otherwise, I'm like I'm highly doubtful. I would rec I would recommend this due to the sheer number of uh, musical performances. Like Zootopia doesn't even have that many. But yeah, uh, but nonetheless, uh, this was, who was it written by? Let me see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's just see, who was it written by? But, non but nonetheless, it tells us tale of an extraordinary family, which is the Madre Gals, who live hidden in the mountains of Colombia. In a magical house, in a vibrant town, and a wondrous and charmed community as well. So the magic of Arcanto has apparently blessed every child in the family with a unique gift from Shuku, from super strength to the power to heal, except for one, which is Maribel. But and also the the magic and the blessings of Encanto. Uh, 
was at, uh, wasn't used to that risk, it also disappeared for a bit. If it wasn't for her, she's the one that was able to uh, not only save it, but also bring it back, I guess you could say. But nonetheless, uh, disregarding the performances or the musical numbers that were that were sheer in number in this film, uh, otherwise than that, it was uh, it was an okay, an okay film. And the true and the true underlining story behind this is the community that you inspire. And that you are a part of, or should I say, uh, inspiring, and being a part of uh, a, an amazing community, and in turn, the music community will, will, will always supports one one another. That's the the story that truly, like I felt a one to one with. So essentially, what I mean is, uh, I found that the impact play. Over two years ago, no, three years ago. I'm sorry, and the and the purpose behind it is not only to share my thoughts or uh, share uh, my what I'm passionate about with all you with all you guys. It is a community based podcast, so we take so we not only like I don't I'm not only just going to impact play for myself. I'm going it for the community for the for the music community behind it so that's the reason why i felt a one-to-one -one with the true true story and true uh meaning behind encanto but otherwise uh on a rating on the mfa scale like i said it's <laughs> if it wasn't for the, the the musical performances i would i would highly recommend it but otherwise than that it's like uh it's like a 50-50 on, on that front. But nonetheless... I'm going to give it a, the low score of a 2.5 out of a 5-star rating. It's the only score I could give it. <laughs> so on the IMDB scale, it's going to be a 5, which I'm going to do that right now. Canto. Rate five. Perfect. Okay. All right. There we go. We gave it a two point five on the ember place scale. But nonetheless, uh, otherwise, it's since it is on Disney Plus. If you have a Disney Plus subscription, uh, I would encourage you to give it a try if it's your cup of tea if you enjoy if you uh, if you'll enjoy the, this film it's all on you if you if these perfor performances music performances musical numbers doesn't bother you <laughs> then go for it but nonetheless uh uh it's definitely amazing disney plus is doing a uh these type of films where it's based on Not just like uh, like the Disney princesses, but also stories from international uh, origins. So, such as uh, what was the other film from the uh, Day of the Dead? Uh, I think it was Coco. But yeah, so it's amazing that they're doing making these films or partnering up with and just uh, partnering up not just with amazing creators and directors, but also. Uh, What's that word I'm looking for? Highlighting these stories. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys are interested in something that's very well, you have multiple ways to do so. You have you can do so via our Discord server, by leaving a voice note over at incontent.fm slash the McWay, or even via email to readymail at the mplay.com. And our new way, via Spotify, if you're listening to the uh, uh to us on Spotify, you, uh, there's always a question uh reg regarding to every release. Every episode release, uh, let's let us know your thoughts, which you could uh, also let us know, give us your feedback that way as well. 
and it also be either replayed or run live here on the show. Otherwise, thank you so much for being a part of us. Be sure to leave us a review of your know, rating on your favorite platform. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, on Spotify, on Amazon Music, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Have a good one, folks. And until next time, folks.